number three, we must solve this. What value friend is going to make it true? Well, as soon as I see an n squared, I know it's a quadratic. We're basically dealing with a parabola, and I'm trying to find where's that guy crossing the x-axis, or does it even cross it? Maybe it crosses in those two. Maybe it only crosses in one because it touches down and moves, or maybe it's above it, never touches it. Well, that's what we're going to find out here. To solve this by hand, what we're going to do is we always must get it set equal to zero. So right now we have all this, so I need to move that n over and that four over. So I'm going to subtract an n, which means I'm going to subtract an n over here. Don't know why I didn't put it underneath the six n. And then I'm going to move the four over by subtracting four and subtracting four. So let's see what we get. This goes away, this goes away, leaves us with zero. Over here, I have two n squared. I have a loss of six n, take away another n. That means we've lost seven n. And then we simply have the minus four there. Ooh, now we've got to factor this. This is why I taught you the busting B method the other day. So, because we have an A value right here of two. So I can't do a simple look at the factors of four, one and four, two and two, and what gives us the seven. I can't do that. So we have to use that busting B method where we're going to bust this apart. Now, if you remember what we do, <clears throat> we do two times the four, which gives us eight. And then we look at the multiples of eight, one and eight, two and four. Now, we need to create a seven, so we should be able to see, oh, that's going to be one and eight, because the difference of one and eight, because this is a negative eight, the difference there is seven. So we are going to need a negative eight and a positive one. How do I know that? Because if I multiply them, it gives me my negative eight. And if I add them together, it gives me the piece right here of negative seven. Now, as I told you, you're always wisest. We bring down the A, which is two n squared. I got to bust the B apart. As I said, you're wisest to always put, if you have one's negative, one's positive, put the negative one first. So this will be a negative eight n plus one n. I'm going to write the one there. Don't really need it, but I'm going to write it. One n minus four equals zero. So I busted this B in between a negative 8n plus 1n, which gives you negative 7n, so I haven't done anything wrong. This right here and this right here are exactly the same thing. I just separated b into two parts. Now we're going to factor it by grouping. So I group and I group. What factors out of this first group? We see a 2 and an n factors out. 2n times what gives me a 2n squared? A single n. 2 times what gives you the 8? A 4. And you've already factored then out. So we have an n minus 4 there. On this, what factors out? There's nothing that factors out, but we put a 1 there. And we're left with a n minus 4. All equaling 0. Now, sliding down a little bit here. Notice they both have an n minus 4, so we factor that out front. And then left behind is 2n plus 1. And that's what this factors into. So we've done the factoring a little more difficult. Now we set each of these two binomials equal to zero and solve it. Set him equal to zero, set him equal to zero. Solving here, piece of cake, add four, add four, n is four. Over here, minus one, minus one, two n is negative one, divide by two, you're gonna get n is a negative one half. So your solutions are four or negative one half. If you plug them both in, they both will work.